Uh, we got here at about, uh, about 8 o'clock. Joel Olhausen travels all the way from Shoto to pick cherries at Odell's Orchard off Highway 35 in Yellow Bay. I think we're pretty close to 40 pounds. Joel, you picks cherries at Odell's Orchard each summer. He says the sweet cherries keep him coming back and can be enjoyed year round. We, we do lots with them. Um, everything from my wife baking, we flash freeze them and then freeze them. And they're, they're actually a good wintertime snack. Sean O'Dell and his wife have operated the orchard for the last 30 years. They provide ladders, boxes, and cherry buckets for a memorable you pick experience. When they pick them, they'll, they sort through them on the trees and they, they come up with just gorgeous fruit. O'Dell's orchard is made up of 430 cherry trees sitting on four and a half acres overlooking Flathead Lake. Families can pick as much fruit as they want at $2.50 a pound. We've had one group come in and they, they uh, over a period of a couple of days, they picked uh, 130 pound boxes, 3,000 pounds. Down on Finley Point, operations at the Cherry Grower Cooperative is in full swing with roughly half of this year's harvest already processed. 1,500 bins is 450,000 pounds, so hopefully we'll come in around 900,000 pounds or maybe even closer to a million pounds, which would be um, really good considering what we've had to deal with. One million pounds may sound like a lot of cherries, but field representative Brian Campbell says that's one of the smaller crops on record in the last two decades. We had two hailstorms come through the valley, and one of them in particular took out uh, about a fourth of the volume for the co-op. So that was a huge hit. Um, it was the worst hailstorm I've ever seen around here. Despite the small crop, Brian says the cherries look and taste better than ever. Overall, it's really good quality and it's coming off real well. And luckily we haven't had any delays from weather now during harvest like rain. So it's, it's going pretty smoothly. Brian says cherries will continue making their way into the co-op for the next two weeks, while Sean says Odell's orchard will remain open until all the cherries are picked. On Finley Point, Sean Wells, MTN News.